Well, it's time to move on to Chapter 12, I suppose. And there's nothing we can really buy in the shop at the moment, so we might as well just leave. Who is this? The legendary knight from the land of Sakai. Prepare to perish. Well, that's not exactly a joke coming from her, oddly enough. Um... You really don't want to have anyone besides a really powered-up Harry fight her men. She's too weak, she has not enough stats. Not even Draco can fight these guys without taking like 10 points of damage. So our goal is to try and draw them all into fighting Harry. Because his defenses are so jacked he can just take hits from them and act like it's nothing. Even with their powerful Jade Lances. And since he's the only one ranged, they're all going to attack him just to die. It's great. It'll make for a quick chapter battle, I suppose. Though a rather boring one as well. Okay. Let's just take you out. I love how they have like a guaranteed hit, but they can't actually hurt me. Like, we will hit you. But it does nothing. Though I have to admit, these units are getting close to where I don't want them. Because I really don't want them to make their way up north. Mostly because if they get to the female unit up there, they can kill her. Um, real quick. Even with her healing, if they land a critical. And basically, you know, end the chapter for me just by, you know, assassinating her. So, yep, we're going all in on the Harry strategy here. It does make for a quick chapter, if nothing else. But I suppose it also makes for a bad chapter as well, because it means he's the only one that can actually fight. Yep. Town one blow, we got the Serpent Spirit, and we get a plus two. Uh, yeah, why not? We can up his stats soon enough, I guess. What the bleep? Was he? On to the next road. How on earth did he do that much damage with one hit? Like, is that just meant to be a cutscene thing? <laughs> 